Hello, my name is Paul Miners, and welcome back to another one of my Asana training videos with a quick little video for you today about how you can easily record videos and share your screen for posting in Asana via comments and task descriptions. Now, the reason you might want to do this is if you are maybe sharing feedback on an attachment or even if you aren't sharing your screen, maybe you, instead of typing a comment to reply in Asana, maybe you just want to turn on the camera where you can just speak a little bit more openly, where you can communicate a lot more uh, via video, where you can give additional context than you would just simply typing a comment. So there's loads of different ways that you can use this feature. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like some one-on-one -on -one help with Asana, check out the link in the description below to learn more about our Asana consulting services, where we can help you to set up and optimize your account and train your team so that everyone in your company uses Asana to its fullest. So let's get into this video. So here I am, I'm in a uh, project here. This is my content project where I actually plan videos and, and content that I'm working on. If I click on a task, here's the task for this video actually. And you'll see if I click into the description, you'll notice this little record video icon. You'll also see it down here in the comments. There's a record a video uh, and here as well. And so you'll notice this icon in multiple places around Asana. Even if I start a message, you'll see the record a video button there. So keep an eye out for that. Also keep in mind the record a video option. This is powered by Vimeo. You don't need a Vimeo account, uh, but it is only supported in the Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge browsers at this time. So if you use Safari or if you're using the Asana desktop app, unfortunately, this feature is not supported yet. Uh, but, you know, you might be watching this video in the future. Maybe it is now supported. So let's, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. When I'm ready to start a video, I'm going to come to the comments here and I'm going to click that record a video button. And so up pops the controls. You can see I can uh, change a couple of things. I can change the camera that's being used. I can change my default microphone. I can also choose, do I want to record just my screen or maybe even just my camera? There I am. Uh, or do I want to record both? So depending on what you're wanting to share, obviously. So I'm just gonna, for this demo, do both and I'm gonna start recording. And I can choose, do I want to record my entire screen or maybe just a certain window. So let's do, uh, I think this one here. And it's gonna give me a countdown and here we go. So now I am recording my video. I can give some feedback. I can share my ideas and opinions, blah, blah, blah. And then when I'm done, I can stop the recording. Or there is actually a pause button. Maybe I just wanna pause, check some notes or get up a different window before I continue. But whenever I'm done, I can hit that stop record button. So while this is uploading to Vimeo, I can give it a name, feedback on blog, whoops, uh, blog post. Um, I can um, change the settings here if I want to change visibility and permission settings in Vimeo. I actually do have my Vimeo account linked, so I could um, go into the Vimeo backend and tweak certain settings if I want to change the thumbnail and the privacy of this video. Um, or I can choose to download the video myself. So let's um, add the video to this post now. And I can give some additional context. So I can say here is some feedback on the blog post and I can comment and share that. So there we go, my video, it's, uh, I think it's finished by, uh, yeah, it looks like it's finished uploading to Vimeo. And so anyone who can view this task, the assignee or collaborators down here can now click and watch that recording. And here we go, so now, so there we go. Uh, you'll also notice some options up here. There is a view transcript button. This is quite handy if you just want to maybe not watch the whole video, you just want to scan through and, and you can look at the transcript to work out where to skip to in the video. So that's pretty useful and I, I quite like that they've added that in. And then I've also got some options to view it in Vimeo, share a link if I want, or download the video again. So there you go pretty simple little feature, but I was really excited when actually it was one of my clients who pointed out that they'd added this button. And I was really excited when this um, was introduced because typing and giving feedback via text is great, but sharing video I think is so much more powerful for sharing feedback and communicating your ideas. So have some fun with it. I definitely encourage you to build it into your processes and workflows as you work with your teams and uh, good luck. If you have any questions, like I said, please leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.
If you'd like to get more out of Asana and need help setting up or optimizing your account, if you want to automate more of your project management process and you want to correctly train and onboard your team, then check out my Master Asana program. When you sign up, you'll be able to join twice weekly group calls so you can get help from me and get your questions answered anytime you need support. You can also book private one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions with me where we can take a deep dive into your account, I can show you key features, and I I can even do group training workshops as well. And finally, you'll get access to my online course, which goes into a lot more depth and detail and covers topics that I don't cover on YouTube. So if you truly want to master Asana, then sign up today and I'll see you on the inside.